Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates and today I'm bringing you guys another freebie. Today's freebie is a vintage Jason Voorhees hockey mask uh, from the Friday 13th horror movies which we thought would be a fun fun free template for everyone to have especially with Halloween weekend coming up in a few days. This is a fully featured template coming in beautiful 7k resolution and an extra layer to add dynamic lighting to your design. Since these face masks aren't used in NHL anymore I wanted to go to do like a throwback design to an old design from the 70s. I found this unusual jersey for the Canucks. A lot of articles have been written about how this jersey is voted the worst jersey ever of all time, especially for Vancouver Canucks and probably for the whole of the NHL, which might be true, but I think if we take this jersey and we put it onto a face mask, it might be it might look really cool. So this is what I'm going to try to do in this tutorial, and also I can show you how you can use this freebie. So to get started, we need to go to editable parts and open it up then go to add your design here double click on the thumbnail here which opens the smart object uh, from here we need to go to polygon tool if you click and hold it opens up this extra panel so you just click polygon tool and make sure the sides here are three so you can get a triangle we can start drawing a triangle while clicking shift so the triangle would fit with the grid and then we can start picking from the colors that I've already picked from the jersey. So let's pick this brown color for the main triangle. Um, I think we can, I think we need to make it a little bit bigger. So let's try something like this. And then let's, let's see what's the other color is gonna be this red. It looks like red, but apparently it's orange. So this is what they have on their website. Is, is supposed, this color was supposed to be orange and this, color wasn't yellow was supposed to be gold so we'll just we'll just call it what the, whatever they call it when they designed this jersey so we can just uh, pick the red color for the second triangle we added and then we just click shift and we'll drag it up a little bit somewhere around here will be good then control J to duplicate again and let's pick the brown color and drag it up a little bit as well all right, now we need to hide the grid and pick the background color, then make it yellow. Let's save and see how everything lines up with our design so far, okay? One more thing I think we can do just to add a nice touch to it would be to add NHL logo here. You just grab it from here and make sure it's on top of every of all the layers. Make it a little bit smaller, kind of something like this. If you go to view and click on extras, you're going to see that I've included the uh, guides to help you find this, uh, the horizontal and vertical center of the canvas. So we can just line it up perfectly, make it make sure it's centered. Let's save. All right. Now, one more thing we can do is we can go to the background color and let's try something like this. And that's pretty much it. We just made a, a new concept for Vancouver Canucks in a matter of minutes. If you want, you can uh, try different colors and different designs. For example, this template comes with the, the red markings that's seen in the Friday the 13th movie. If you turn off this layer and then turn on the red markings, you can see now that looks exactly like the mask seen in the movie. I was also playing around with this template and I made the Joker concept. The possibilities are really endless with the, with, with the face mask. You can create all kinds of designs with it. And uh, one more thing I want to show you guys is the dynamic lighting effect. So if you turn the design back on, we can just go to dynamic lighting. We can change the lighting to fit our design. So if we feel like we need more lighting coming from this side, we can just turn on dynamic lighting and go here. Then double click on hue saturation and move this slider to kind of move the light around our design so let's say we want we want the light to come from this side we can go to the channel mixer here and just move the different color sliders to determine how harsh or soft lights are going to be I'm thinking about adding a soft color like this all right let's save it if you want the light to be harsher you can just control the opacity here 
So now we can see we just added another light to our design in a matter of seconds. Uh, if you zoom in, you can see the level of details in this template. You know, we get all these scratches and all these little bumps and specks on this uh, mask just to add more to its realism. All kinds of textures, you know, if you look here, you can see like, like you can see this metal reflection. Also, everything is editable. So if you want to change the straps color, let's say we want to make the straps brown like the template. You can just one click. That's done. Also, the metal parts are editable. So if you go like to top metal part, make it yellow or if you want to make it if you want to make it kind of like goldish, you can just turn it down a little bit like that and just try something like this. And now we have a golden metal button here. I think that looks pretty cool. So we can do the same thing for, for the other straps. So let's do brown here and here. And then let's copy that color and add it to the other buttons. All right. Same thing goes for the screws here. Let's see how a golden color is gonna look at them. I, th I think I think they look better like this over yellow. So that was it for for this template. This is completely free. You can get it from our website sportstemplates.net. Uh, you just sign up. You leave us your email. We're gonna send you a download link immediately, so you can download it and start playing with it. And don't forget to tag us on social media whenever you use this template, so we can feature you on our Hall of Fame page. And uh, hope you guys like this template. Happy Halloween. Ryan Little. <laughs>